Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get from level 1 to 99 in all your melee stats in free to play. So that's level 1 to 99 in attack and strength and defense. Now attack is your accuracy so that is how often you will hit. Strength is based on your maxed hit, so the higher your strength is, the higher you will hit. And defense is based on how often you will get hit by another player or another monster. Also, with attack and defense in free to play, certain levels allow you to wear or use certain armors. So, for example, level five attack allows you to use steel weapons and level five defense allows you to wear steel armor. The best weapon to buy for training melee is a scimitar. It has the best stats and the fastest attack speed, so it is the most efficient weapon to use all around. The max gear you can use in free to play and wear is rune, which requires 40 attack and 40 defense. There is also a hill giant club weapon, which is a little bit better than rune, but it's not necessary for this video because it's for PKing and for getting a higher max hit, but we want to be efficient and we want to get as much XP as possible. There's only two ways really in free to play to grind out your melee stats, and that is AFK, so away from keyboard, and the other one is for profit, but it's not much profit, but we'll get into that in the video. So the first one I'm going to do is the AFK method. By AFK, I mean you're going to have as little interaction with the game as possible, but still allow your account to train as efficiently and quick as possible. This is very difficult to do at low levels because there's not many monsters in free to play that will attack you at a low level and not kill you without your intervention. So a lot of the first levels you will have to interact with the game but I've chosen monsters that are easy to kill so you probably won't have to heal and you shouldn't die from them. Just to side note, when monsters are aggressive to you, they will stop becoming aggressive to you once you're double their combat level plus one. So if the monster's combat level is 40, once you're level 81 combat, the monster will stop being aggressive to you. So at the start of the account, like everyone, you will be a fresh born off, Lum off Tutorial Island and you will be in Lumbridge. The first thing you want to do is get a training sword and training shield from the tutor from here. This sword and shield act as an iron sword and shield, so they're your best in slot for a little while. And then the first monster we're gonna kill is chickens. You can find chickens in two locations, here and here. And if you do die from a chicken, don't worry about it, just run back and pick your stuff up and carry on killing the chickens until you've got level 10 attack a 10 defense and 10 strength. I'd recommend training attack first and then strength and then defense just so you can wield a better weapon which will increase your kill speed and then you can train the other two which will also increase your kill speed and survival. After we've killed multiple chickens, we're gonna upgrade our armor and weapons to steel. If you're struggling to make money in free to play at the start, I've done a video showing you how to make money in free to play without having any levels, so fresh spawns can do these money makers, and hopefully you can use that to make some money to buy the armor and a bit of food. But after we have upgraded our armor and weapon to steel, we're gonna move on to cows. Again, with cows, they're in two locations. They can be found here and here, and also with cows, if you die, it doesn't really matter. matter just run back and pick your stuff up and carry on killing the cows. You can always take food if you want, but if you don't want to waste the money, then you can literally just die, respawn, and pick your stuff up and carry on. We're going to be killing cows until we're level 20 attack, 20 defense, and 20 strength. This means we can wear mithril armor. So buy yourself a full set of mithril and a mithril scimitar. Now, after we've killed cows, we're going to move on to barbarians. Barbarians can be found at Barbarian Village, which is located here. And the reason we're killing Barbarians is because they have low defense and quite a lot of health. 
and it's also at the location we need to be for the next monster. You can also go down into the security stronghold and kill minotaurs and wolves, but they've got a little less health than barbarians, so they will take longer to level, but they give a bit of loot if you're struggling for money. They drop arrows and a few stackables, so you can pick those up if you're struggling for money and sell them on the Grand Exchange. Now, once we've killed quite a lot of barbarians or minotaurs, we should be at level 40 attack, 40 defense, and 40 strength. Just a side note, once you hit level 30 attack, 30 defense, and 30 strength, you can equip adamant which i would recommend upgrading to if you've got the money also to save some time in your inventory if you've got the money you can have all the weapons so you, sh you could have a steel scimitar a mithril scimitar a adamant scimitar and a rune scimitar so you don't have to go to the grand exchange to buy each one just buy them all at the start and upgrade them when you can also conveniently next to barbarian village a lot of players fish and cook salmon and trout and then they just drop the items on the ground so this can be your point of restocking for food it's all free and salmon and trout heal 9 and 7 hp respectively so they're pretty good food now after we've got 40 attack 40 defense and 40 strength we're going to move on to flesh crawlers which are on the second floor of the security stronghold the security stronghold is basically just a mini game where you have to pass through these doors and you have to answer questions about securing your account and being safe online, it's pretty easy. But once you get to the second level, so to get to the second level, level you have to go into the center and climb down the ladder. Once you've got here, there is a room to the south which just has flesh crawlers in. I'd recommend going to this room and this room is where you can AFK. So the flesh crawlers will attack you, just put your auto retaliate on and let your character kill the flesh crawlers one after another. At the start, you might have to keep your eye on your character, make sure he doesn't die, he or she. But after a while, the flesh crawlers will stop, to hit, stop hitting you as much and you will be able to AFK for like 10 minutes until your account logs out, log back in and just do the same again over and over again. As I mentioned, once your combat level is double plus one the combat level of the flesh crawlers they will stop attacking you and also the aggression timer which is normally 10 minutes for every monster once that runs out they will stop attacking you so to reset that i just go up to the previous floor so up to floor one and then come back down to floor two and run back to the flesh crawlers and they will be reset now you want to kill these flesh crawlers and so you've got 70 attack, 70 defense, and 70 strength. This might take a while. Um, I've calculated it to be about 100 plus hours, but grinding out any 99 in free to play is a slog, so we're in it for the long run. Now, after we've killed flesh crawlers, we're going to move down one more floor and there are giant spiders which are 50 combat and we're going to be killing these until we are 90 attack, 90 strength and 90 defense. Once we've hit those levels we will be about 100 plus combat so the giant spiders will no longer be aggressive to us. So the next monster we're going to do is Ankus which are one floor down so it seems like you're going to spend an eternity in the security stronghold. We're going to kill Ankus to level 99 in everything. This is the last monster that you can AFK efficiently. Ankus also drop a few noteworthy stuff like runes, adamant arrows, noted ores and coins. So if you're not AFK then it's worth picking these up because over time they will definitely add up. They also drop a black robe which is at the moment of this video is worth 1k. But this is the last monster that we can AFK until we get to 99 attack, 99 strength and 99 defense. I've calculated it to take over 2000 hours to get to 99 in attack, strength and defense in free to play using these methods. But no one said free to play was easy. Okay, so for the next method, which is for profit, we're basically going to do exactly the same as AFK method up until we get to cows. So get the training sword and shield and kill chickens. You can also pick up the feathers if you want to earn a bit of dough. And then once we get to level 10 attack, strength and defense, we're going to move on to cows. But this time we're going to pick up all the cow hides that we get from each kill. And we're going to bank these cow hides at Lumbridge. And then once we get to 20 attack, 20 strength and 20 defense, we're going to move on to dark wizards. Now dark wizards can be located just south of Varok 
And just bear in mind that they will use magic, so wearing armor will probably be a bad idea at a low level. So what I'd recommend is wearing range armor, which will help you to defend against the magic attacks. We're killing dark wizards because they have pretty good rune drops, and they also drop the black robes every now and again. So over time, these rune drops and the black robes will add up. Alternatively, you can kill the Zamrock monks in the chapel that is located near Goblin Village. These Zamrock monks drop Zamrock monk robes, which are worth 1k to 2k each so they're pretty worth it we're going to be killing these until we are 40 attack 40 defense and 40 strength until we can wear rune and then we're going to move on to moss giants now moss giants can be located in varok sewer and the drops you want to pick up are all the stackables so all the runes the arrows the coins and also moss giants have a rare drop which is called the mossy key which will allow you to kill the moss giant boss Bryo Theatre. I wouldn't recommend trying to kill this boss straight away, but once you've leveled enough, I'd say probably 60 plus in all your melee stats, then I would give the boss a go. Always look at a guide before you do it. But the Moss Giant boss, Bryo Theatre, does have some pretty good drops, so that would be worth it. You can also stack the keys, so just keep them in your bank until you're confident you can kill it. I would also recommend bringing High Alchemy spell because the Moss Giants do drop some armor that is worth High Alking. And then once we have got to level 70 attack, 70 70 de defense and 70 strength we're going to move on to ogresses we're going to be killing ogresses to 99 in everything so we're going to be here for a long while and ogresses are locked behind a quest the quest is called the coarse air curse and after we've completed this quest we unlock the coarse air cove where we unlock the ogresses these are the best npcs in free to play to kill for money at the moment runescape wiki says it's 130k an hour which is pretty good for a combat money maker in free to play i'd also recommend bringing high alchemy spells to these because they drop quite a lot of rune items which are always good to high alt if these are killed from level 77 to 99 in attack strength and defense then you will have killed nearly a hundred thousand ogresses and a hundred thousand ogresses is almost 200 mil in profit so if you can slug it out to 99 then congrats and you've made bank in free to play so that's about it for combat methods in free to play there's no other ways you can really do it there's not very an efficient way to train combat but i've made this video because i do get asked quite a lot in stream and out of stream what's the best way to train combat in free to play so i've made a guide on it so that's it from me i'm hoping this guide helps and if you've got any questions just leave a comment and if you like the video leave a like and hopefully i'll see you guys in the stream or i'll see you guys in the next video video.